d.podcast at gmail.com. That's d.podcast at gmail.com. Email me with your hip hop related questions and you will get hip hop related answers. Also, I want to mention to you guys that in the description below, I've got a tip jar down there, a PayPal account. If you guys would like to donate to the show, that would be greatly appreciated. No pressure. Just think of it as just tipping your waiter. So the question that we have here comes from Alex Booker from Arizona. Alex says, hey, D-Dot, I know this is kind of an old topic, but I never got your opinion on what you thought about Young Thug being gay or not. We've all seen the social media pics, the interviews. What do you think? There, that's all I wanted to say. I just want to keep it short and simple. Uh, P.S., under pressure was a huge letdown. Thank you for the email, sir. The young thug thing. I would say, to me, I can't personally determine whether young thug is gay or not. I don't know if you clicked on this podcast and you thought that you were just going to hear a definitive answer on what I think. It really doesn't matter. Of course, the pictures that we've all seen would suggest that he is. The dress... Uh, the terms of endearment that he uses with rich homie Quan. Just the overall feel of Young Thug feels like he's um, like he's gay. But what I would think that's more important than that is, does it matter if he is gay? And I don't mean that in the typical answer that you get these days, the very dismissive, oh, just let him be himself. Do you really care about his sexual orientation? That's not what I mean. I mean it in the sense of the quality of music. If Young Thug came out, say, a year from now, six months from now, would his music articulate his experience? A very important experience, I would say, to be the very first rapper to come out of the closet and say, yes, I am a homosexual. Very different than Frank Ocean. Frank Ocean is a singer. He kind of did. He kind of didn't. I did something with a guy. It's a bad religion and all that mess. It's a bit different. But would Young Thug be able to articulate, this is how I felt growing up. This is the, the music that I listened to in Atlanta. Uh, you know, how people perceive me, how I perceive myself within this culture, how I grew up listening to these rappers and what they had to say about gay people and how that made me feel. Do they hate me? You wouldn't get any of that from Young Thug's music. In fact, if Young Thug came out of the closet, you would probably get some overtly sexual record about like sucking dick you'd get something that probably wouldn't make the the gay community too proud about him coming out of the closet so what i think that would help the situation more and first of all i do want to say this i do want to say that it's not possible for one artist or one person to change the opinions of many I don't think that's the goal here, and that's a big burden to put on one person's back. But I will say that in order for this to work, in order to take that one step forward to fight against the homophobia in hip hop, it's got to be an artist that's respected all around, all across the board. And I said this on the Frank Ocean video that I made all across the board and this can be an older artist this can be an artist who you know we don't know right now but we'll meet in like five years and he doesn't necessarily have to say i'm gay right from the start it can be two three albums deep but the reason why i think it's important for this person to be a songwriter a respected lyricist a poet is because that experience has to be articulated so well that you could make it relatable to the person who's even outside of the homosexual conversation. The person who doesn't even want to hear about it. Never mind the person who is homophobic. The person who has no interest whatsoever to listen to the plight of a gay man within the hip-hop culture. Because they're so used to what hip-hop has fed them. 
I think it's very important to have an artist who's serious about what he's doing. So it wouldn't matter to me if Young Thug was gay, because honestly, Young Thug just isn't a good enough songwriter. A lot of people speculate whether he's doing it, uh, you know, as a marketing ploy. Uh, You know, most people just do think he is gay. But I I would say that the, the, the one person that Young Thug hurts with all this would be the young and impressionable fans that he has. Those younger fans who are in their in their formative years and might be a bit confused when they see the pictures on social media, when they see the terms of endearment, my cutie, my hubby. You've got to understand that at some level, you're a role model. And if not for them, then for who? That's where the the importance of it lies. I don't think he's mature enough to affect the culture and to to educate not even to educate it's just to make it entertaining and to make it relatable even though most of us are outside of that to make it relatable he's just not able to do it but on a level of his fans as a personal thing listen this is who i am if you happen to be like me then yes I am a homosexual. And there's nothing wrong with you being the way that you are. But he doesn't do that. He just, you know, in interviews, he just sort of carries himself like, well, how, why would you think I'm gay? So that's what sort of makes me believe that it's a bit of a marketing ploy. But again, I'm just, you know, I'm toying around with the possibility of your question, Alex. So... That's what it boils down to me. That's what it boils down to. It will happen one day on a grand scale and it won't even be a gimmick. It's just going to be something that we all want to listen to. Sort of in the way that Eminem made us all listen to the fact that he was a white boy in this culture. Not the first. But the first respected on a grand scale. You know, obviously we've had the Beastie Boys, we've had MC Search, we've had uh, uh, whites that were respected in hip hop, but Eminem is just, it's, it's just a fucking, you know, it was, a, it was an atom bomb. And you wanted to listen to that story. And this would be no different, but it's gotta be a respected guy, a songwriter. And until Young Thug improves his writing style, it's just not going to matter. But whether he's gay or not, it's really none of my business. But thank you for the question, sir. If you've got hip-hop questions, I've got hip-hop answers. So make sure you guys email me at d.podcast at gmail.com. That's d.podcast at gmail.com. And don't forget to tip your waiter.